Hello, I'm Veena, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable, view and download logs on an Amazon Aurora serverless cluster. Let's get started. With Aurora serverless cluster, you can enable Amazon CloudWatch logs by modifying the parameters in the custom parameter group. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the RDS console. Then, select the parameter groups. Note that the parameters of a default parameter group cannot be modified. However, you can create a custom parameter group. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom parameter group for an Aurora MySQL cluster in particular. Choose Create Parameter Group. Select the DB engine and the major engine version. Give a group name and give a group description. Now, click on Create. After you have created the custom parameter group, select it and then choose Edit Parameters. For MySQL, the error logs are enabled by default. However, you can modify the parameters General Log to 1 and Slow Query Log to 1. And for PostgreSQL, you can modify log statement to all. The all parameter controls with SQL statements are logged. After the parameters are modified, choose Save Changes. Now that we have our custom parameter groups ready, let's go back to the cluster page. Select Modify, scroll down, and then from the drop down menu, select the new parameter group and choose continue. When you are associating a new parameter group for the first time, the instance must be rebooted for new values to be effective. This means that you can choose to apply the modifications immediately or during your schedule maintenance window. After you modify your DB cluster to use a new custom DB cluster parameter group, Aurora Serverless V1 attempts to perform an automatic seamless scale to apply the parameter changes. Note, the four supply capacity change timeout action is used when applying this change. This means that if your Aurora Serverless V1 DB cluster can't find a scaling point before timing out, connections might be dropped. Note that all the above mentioned parameters are dynamic in nature and any further modification on them does not require a reboot of the instance. Now, let us navigate to the CloudWatch console and select Log Groups from the left tab of the page. And select the log file that starts with the pattern AWS forward slash RDS forward slash cluster forward slash cluster identifier. Now, choose the desired log stream and view the log files. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.